There are a number of principles involved in the assembling of IKEA furniture from flat packs, and uh, I just thought I'd share a few ideas with you. Hello and welcome once again to another episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. My name is Bob. In this episode, we're going to be talking about making up or assembling IKEA furniture. In particular, I'm going to put together a chair. IKEA sells furniture, uh, fittings, all sorts of household items across a range of countries, Britain, Europe, North America, Australia where I live, Asia to the north of us, uh, a true multinational. Started in Sweden, I don't know if it's still head office in Sweden, probably still is. Uh, their forte is good design, coupled with an amazing ability to put the furniture into a flat bag so it's easy to take home. In this box is a chair. Easy to carry, easy to put in the car. In the box, you find instructions. They have a nice set of pictorial instructions. And because they sell in many countries, they have some written instructions in a variety of languages. Ah, there's English, but also German, French, Dutch, Danish, so on through to our near neighbours to the north, Indonesia and Malaysia. All good stuff. And more importantly, not only do you get the item to assemble, but you get the tools to assemble it with. In this case, it's a simple Allen key. How good is that? So the instructions are very much pictorial in nature. So you get a picture of the chair and screwing it together, etc. Uh, and that would be a great boon to them selling in many countries as they do. However, there are a number of types of learning abilities. Uh, different people have different learn in different ways and there is depending on which book you read there are three or there are four or there are eight. We're going to keep it simple and talk about four. So the four types are visual, auditory, reading, writing, that's one, and kinesthetic. Obviously visual, they're the sort of people who are, like to see it and are probably everybody watching a YouTube video on how to do something. Then you have the auditory, I guess they like to hear about it. So they've probably turned the screen off and still listening to the video going. Reading, writing, that's where instructions come in. They like to read the instructions. Unfortunately it's pictorial so it's visual and these instructions are really about maintaining not putting it together. And then you have kinesthetic. They like to learn by doing. They probably throw the instructions in the bin and work it out for themselves and good on them because that's how I like to do it a lot of the time too. However, <laughs> that's just a, a male thing I think. There's nothing wrong with any of these learning types. People have different learning types. It just makes it difficult for teachers when you'd like to say do a visual delivery always and a percentage of your class just can't handle that. So, knife, cut the tape, open up our box and we have the instructions uh, 
we have the base frame in two parts. We have the seat. And we have another box of goodies. Inside that box we have the back, the chair back. We have a brace. And we have the fasteners. Take a moment to clear the cardboard away. Simulate the real deal. I am going to put it together on this kitchen bench. Uh, a little bit of workshop technology will make it way, make its way in, but uh, I'm going to try and keep it realistic uh, for just a person working at home. Let's look at our fasteners first. So what we find we've got is four screws, four metal thread screws, and five self-tapping screws, four of which are one length and one of which is longer. And we have the Allen key. So you want to make sure you've got what you're supposed to have. The instructions show four metal thread screws, one long self-tapper, four cap head screws self-tapping and four slightly shorter self-tapping screws and an allen key. And we look here, these are our four metal thread screws, our one long self-tapper, our four cap head self-tappers and these four self-tappers there and the allen key. So we're all set to go. So I'm starting with the uh, putting the base together. If you look at the base, and these are all little hints for IKEA furniture, you'll find some countersinks, countersinks, and this goes with the brace in between. But the thing to note is these countersinks go to the outside, so it goes like this rather than here where the countersinks are facing each other the countersinks have to be to the outside of the X if you like the instructions say to put the brace in first. I don't do that. The long screw is the one that goes in here and I like to put it in first just to hold the two base frames together. You can use their allen key and that's fine. That's what it's meant for. I, of course, will reach for tools. I'm staying away from uh, an impact driver, 
but uh, I find it much easier to use a T Allen. I don't do it up tight, I just leave it loose. That's good enough for the moment. I take my brace. This is where the four short self-tapping screws are used. And I just loosely put them in by hand. And on the other side, it's the same. and the last one and now that they're all in I proceed to do them up Next step is to put the back on. This is where the short cap head screws are used. I just like to get them started and I usually go opposite sides diagonally opposite sides once again I just leave them loose till I've got them all in so there's plenty of room to jiggle it into place. And then once I've done that, I proceed to tighten them up. Righto, the so next step is to turn it over and you'll notice that I've been using the cardboard that the uh, frame came in or the, the, the flat pack cardboard you'll notice that I've been using the flat pack cardboard and I use that to protect the bench and also protect the chair while it's being assembled So now we've just got the four metal threads. There are inserts in the base of the chair and the metal thread just goes in there. Of course make sure you've got the base facing the right way. Uh, there is a, a picture that you can see but it's a bit obvious that the uh, narrow uh, end goes to the back. Again, I'm just fitting the screws diagonally and just leaving them loose.
So those are all started. So I now do them up. Again, diagonally across. And with those four done, it's just a matter of doing up the centre one. And it's all done. Remember to keep your Allen key. Wood materials in particular, they contract, expand, and it could loosen up over time and you may need to go back and just do a little bit of tightening. The thing with the flat packs is that they've usually got everything you need in them and that's good. So the first thing you do is check that you've got everything that's supposed to be in the flat pack. Then when you assemble it, assemble it loose to start off with. Tighten it up later or tighten it up in component parts. So in this case here, I started off with the loose frame. I kept that loose, but I did tighten the brace because that was critical to the rest of it. And then put on the back and the base. And with each component part, I would tighten up. You could just keep the whole thing loose and then just tighten up the end. You can get to all the screws on this particular component. There are other things that you could make or assemble from flat packs that you really need to do component by component. However, that's probably the other issue. Keep it loose. To start with, tighten up at the end. It's always good advice. And if it's a component, keep it loose. Tighten up at the end. If it's the whole piece and it's relatively simple like a chair, keep it loose, tighten up at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did I'd welcome a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed I welcome a subscription too. If you like making stuff, fixing stuff, renovating stuff then White Dog Garage is a channel you should be subscribed to and I'd welcome your subscription. And it's easy, just hit the bar down below that says subscribe. While you're there, ding the bell so that you will be reminded by YouTube every time a new video from White Dog Garage comes out. And go to the channel. There's a number of videos there. I'll watch them all, of course, but uh, there may be other videos to your liking. Um, and by all means, enjoy them. Thank you once again for watching.